Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Jones. So this is a Wacky Wednesday video. Today we're going to have a look at the Digu DG XY8 or Digu and the Digu SB ZTA. So this is a wireless doorbell. So you get the doorbell and the push button. And this one is a smart doorbell. So it's a Wi-Fi type so you can watch it from anywhere in the world as long as you've got 4G, etc, etc. It just logs into the account and you can see who's at your door. And it also has a night camera and certain other things on here. The reason I've got this is because if you don't want to use your phone to answer the door, you can just, you'll hear it because this is an internal bell. And this connects to this wirelessly. You get this with it at the time of purchase. I think I paid £52 for the whole thing. And it really is a neat piece of kit. So let me just show you what you get in the box. So you get the doorbell itself. This is 1080p 30 frames a second. You get the mounting bracket, which I'm going to show you fitted to the door. A couple of screws and the screwdriver. And you do the screwdriver is a hex driver, and you need that because that's how it fastens onto the door, which I'll show you later on. So that's what you get in the box, and in the other box, you get a doorbell, so a push bell, and a doorbell unit so this unit connects to this so when I press this it's not only going to ring my phone it's going to also ring the bell inside the house so if my phone's on silent I'm still not gonna I'm still gonna know someone's at my door if I can't be bothered using the video function of it and you can still wire this up so if you've got a back door and you use that for like, deliveries or something you can have this bit on the back door which is just a bell so you'll in sense have two doorbells So let me just show you what this unit. So this is the unit. So in here is your camera. It's an IR sensor here for picking you up. So if someone walks past your house, it'll record for a certain length of time. And that's the bell itself. It connects by clipping onto the wall like that. That screw goes in the bottom and that's how it holds onto the outside of your door or your door frame. Again, I'll show you that later on in the video. This is so they can hear you talk. We don't have to use that if you don't want. You can just go answer the door. And they can obviously speak through the microphone here. Okay, let me just show you how it connects up. Just get my phone. So it connects to something called the video doorbell. It's available on iOS and Android. Simply click on that. I'm just going to show you the features. You don't have to do that. If I press the button, it will rang the bell. So they're the recordings I've done messing around with it. It's connecting to the bell. The first time you do this is going to take a few seconds. But again, this isn't for doing anything else. This is for doing if I want to look back at the videos or connect to my doorbell if I'm not in the house or I'm away from the house. So it's going to take about 30 seconds to connect. You don't have to do this when it's a bell. I'll show you. When you press the button, it just works. You have to have the app open. It's just going to do it. So it's connecting still. As I say, it takes about 30 seconds. In fact, when it's connecting, let's just come back out of this and let it use the bell function in the background. So if I press the doorbell, so it's also ringing this doorbell. Oh, sorry, I've, it's um, it's because I've connected it. Just bear with me one second. Let's let it find it. It's because I've asked it to do two things at once. So let's just let it connect. So there you are. It's now connected. So that's the bell, and that's the image from the bell. You can see that. So it's got a bit of lag, obviously, because it's. Wi-Fi and I've got the camera upside down which is open and the echo back is because it's coming through this microphone into the phone okay so let's just stop that horrible noise so let's go back oh I should have showed you on there this is how you tell what your battery life is it's a hundred percent takes about five hours to charge and lasts for about three months to charge it you simply bring it back in the house and connect it via the USB socket which is on the side you see that so it should work now because I've connected it properly so I press my doorbell and you can see on the top it says master master the guest survived I think you can change that in the settings but I haven't bothered so if I click on that it's going to tell me the visitor ringing the bell I can go check and as you can see it's me at the door. 
Get me that. Close oh, my car. Show you it properly working in a little bit. When I fitted it to the door, I'll show you it working. I'll get someone to come to the door and I can show you how it works from in here. So that's basically how it works. But that'll work wherever you are because it works on 4G and whatever it is because it's on an account. So to, to log into it, you simply download the video bell app, you put your email address in, it asks you to create a password, you're done. Nothing else. No messing around, it'll automatically connect to this and we're done. This works on 2.4 gigahertz and not 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So you need to make sure your router is capable of 2.4. I don't know a router that isn't, but I'm on a Sky router and it works absolutely fine. And I know it works fine on the BT router, so they're the ones I've tested it on. So I'm going to go fit this to the door and let me show you it fitted and how easy it is to fit onto this mount. So I'm going to screw this to the door frame and then I'll show you how this fits. Okay, so as you can see, I fit the bracket. You have to make sure you use the two screws provided because it isn't going to slide on if the screws are bigger on the top. I've had to put a little bit of wood in there because, as you can see, I've got a step on my architrave. So you pop that on there, you get this. You simply push down, lock it into place and make sure it goes over the top of the screw. And then you just need to make sure it drops into here. It is a little bit fiddly. There we go. Then you use this to tighten it up. Now I have to be honest, you might be better using an Allen key for this because it's difficult to get... It depends on your door frame, I suppose. There you go. Fitted. Okay, so you've seen how I fitted it outside, so let's go and test it. So someone's going to ring the doorbell and let's see what happens on the screen. So we've got a visitor, so if we enter, there's someone there. You hit this button to talk. Hiya, how can I help you? I'm just testing the doorbell. Fantastic, thank you very much. There you go, that's how simple it is. That is really how simple it is, and then if you hit, you can, hitting this button allows you to talk, but you have to leave it in. And then just go back to come out. So that's the video it's just made. So it takes a little bit of time before they come on. I think it takes a few minutes because it's coming through the cloud, obviously. But you can see when I did one earlier testing messing around, you can see it working there. So, yeah, it is a fantastic item. Really good for the money and seems to work well. Like I said, they're around £53. I definitely get this with it because otherwise you're going to be constantly having to make sure your phone's not on silent, etc, etc. Because the doorbell is actually outside. So when you ring it, they can hear the doorbell ring. And it is quite loud, but if you're upstairs or something in your house, you're not going to hear it, so... It's one thing to maybe pay attention to, but yeah, I think it's fantastic. And like I say, you don't have to have it on Wi-Fi. If I had this on 4G, it'd pick it up anywhere. I've tried it in various different locations, and I can pick my bell up. And obviously, it's also got, if I go on here, connect it back up again. If I go back on here, it'll get a real-time view. I've just disconnected the whole thing because I've just unplugged it outside. But you'll see that... It'll get that and it'll also record anybody that comes past your house or comes near your house because it's got a sensor on there. So if anybody's walking past your house or comes near your house without pressing the bell, it's still going to record it and give you an alert. So yeah, fantastic for the money. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.